Yeah, it's your Donnybrook here, boys. And today we are doing another hobby box of 21-22 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey. Most people probably at this point are uh, getting tired of Series 1, Series 2 Extended. I kind of am, uh, even though I haven't ripped a ton of it. I didn't actually intend to buy this today. Uh, actually, I went into the uh, card store today to buy what was supposed to be the release date of the new Upper Deck Football. That's right, Upper Deck does make football. CFL 2022. But in typical Upper Deck fashion, as of late, that has been delayed to... Uh, November 15th, I believe it is, November 15th, so it wasn't there, and uh, I was in the store, felt like I wanted, wanted to rip something, I mean, you're in the store, you gotta, you're gotta, you all set to rip some cards and uh, want to rip something, and they had these on sale for 99 bucks. Uh, normally, they're 130 something or whatever, but $99, kind of hard to say no to, also an ulterior motive, the guy at the card store told me that if they can move three boxes of these, um, I believe he said three boxes, might have been three cases, but I think they had to order three boxes. If they order three boxes of these, uh, then their distributor puts them uh, guaranteed to get, I can't remember how many, but a, maybe 10 boxes of clear cut. And uh, he basically, he's, he's, a bro, he's a real G, uh, he's a bro. He said he'd make sure that I got a couple if I wanted a couple of those. So with that being on sale, helped the guys out, had to grab one, and uh, hopefully in the future, um, hopefully they sell those three cases or sell enough to order those three cases, and they can get those clear cuts, and uh, I can get my hand on a couple. That'd be cool to cool to blow some money on some clear cuts. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get totally bent over on those, but it is what it is. So hopefully in the future we'll see some clear cut. Uh, in the meantime, though, here we've got our extended series, and also of course on the 15th. Um, I should also point out that because the CFL stuff was pushed back. Uh, I went ahead and I found, I talked about it before, I found a 2014, at least, at least I think I talked about it, I found a 2014 uh, set of the CFL cards that actually that's, 2014 was the first year of Upper Deck having the CFL license, so that's the very first one, um, and more important to me is you can get uh, signed Fluties in there, and uh, Doug Fluties kind of my, he's my, he was one of my Favorite quarterbacks growing up. He played for the Chargers. Chargers used to be my team. Now that they're in L.A., not really, but San Diego Chargers were my NFL team. Um, he played there. So pulling a Flutie auto would be awesome. So look for that. It's coming in the future. Should be here in a few days. So that can... If you happen to be one of the few CFL card fans that exist, uh, we'll have that in a few days. So hopefully if it shows up on time. So in the meantime, uh, do another Extended here. At this point, most people know what you're getting with Extended. Um... Classic Series 1, Series 2 stuff. Uh, the young guns in here are not exactly amazing. Um, Seth Jarvis being one of the best ones. Aside from that, Alexander Holtz, not bad. Paterka's pretty good. Other than that, though, the rest of the field is pretty weak. They overextended, pun intended, on the uh, young guns. And uh, some of them are a little weak. But other than that, some cool uh, inserts in here. Young Guns canvases are awesome. There are some good good players. Like uh, you can get a Zegris Young Guns canvas. Uh, the mascot canvases are awesome. I love mascot canvases. They also, for some reason, have crazy resale value. People love them. And Retro Young Guns, those are also cool in here. You know, you get the clear cuts and stuff like that. Hobby exclusives are cool. Uh, the Trilogy inserts that are put in here because Upper Deck's didn't release Trilogy and they had some stuff printed. I have pulled a Trilogy rookie out of my last extended. So those are cool. And uh, Day with the Cup, stuff like that. Hard to hit, but would be awesome. So, yeah, there it is. And uh, let's get into it. Uh, of course, eight cards per pack, 24 packs per box, some standard stuff. Well, cut the front. Maybe you're not supposed to cut the front. Sorry, Johnny T. I mean, no disrespect. All right, so 24 packs. Uh, most people have seen the base cards at this point, so I'll probably just rip through the base as quickly as possible. Not as quickly as possible, but fairly quickly. Brayden Hopi on the Stars. That's still weird to me. Brayden Hopi on any team other than the Capitals is still weird to me. There you go. Brayden Hopi, Rasmus Ristolainen, Matthew Perot, Pius Pius Suter, Andre Pilat. Ooh, there we go. Day with the Cup. Andre Pilat, Day with the Cup. That's cool. It's actually the first one I've seen. So there we go. Andre Pilat, Day with the Cup. What do the backs look like? Palat celebrated the Lightning's second straight Stanley Cup title in 2021 by bringing the Cup to a Friedek, Friedek, Mystic, Czech Republic. Sorry, Czech Republic. I'm sure that's not how you say that. The center who amassed 13 points in 23 postseason games took photos of the local youth hockey teams before hosting a celebration with the city. So day with the Cup. And day with the Cups are pretty hard to hit. Uh, let me just double check the odds on that. Hey guys, Future Duster here. So I sat and stared at the back of this box for about 10 minutes and uh, actually eventually read it line by line. And the Day with the Cup actually isn't even listed on the back here. So I don't know if it was like a last second thing that Upper Deck threw in there or what. Uh, but there's no odds for it listed on the back of the box. The previous uh, Series 2 
Uh, series 1 and Series 2, I believe. Series 2 for sure. Uh, they were listed at 1 in 1,000. So I'm assuming that that's what the odds are here. But uh, I couldn't figure it out. doesn't say on the back of the box. And doing some Googling, I couldn't find a proper answer anyway. So I guess we'll go with uh, 1 in 1,000 and uh, assume that's right. What else we had there? We had Juju Arcara, Andrew Cogliano, and Carter Rowney. Rowney? Rowney, yeah. So there we go. Day with the Cup. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I didn't know what the Day with the Cups even looked like. So that's cool. All right, Cal Clutterbuck, Seth Jones. Thomas Nosek, 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 and a die cut of Austin Matthews. What the heck is this? Is this a... I don't know what the heck these are. I'm hearing, duh, uh, duh. Well, it's numbered to 1,000, whatever the hell it is. This is uh, Austin Matthews' UD3 die cut. So, uh, not bad. One of the better players to hit there. That's a pretty cool card. Uh, I mean, if you're a fan of the die cuts or not, I think they're pretty cool. This is a crazy die cut, though. Two, this is either going to be a completely loaded box, or uh, we got the two big hits right off the bat there. So, other than that, Brandon Tanav, Anton Strahlman, and our boy Vander Kane. That everybody who's not an Edmonton Oilers fan hates. So, we got Jakub Voracek, aka Jacob, Dan Vladar, Scourge of the Oilers, David Kempf, and Jesus, what is up with this? Leon Dreisaitl, XPX Finite. I mean, um, I don't think these these Finite cards aren't worth like a bazillion dollars, but there's an unnumbered one too. But still, so, yeah, it's numbered. Never mind. Yeah, 211 of 2999. So a super high numbered, but. Anti Ronta, Zach Sanford, and Kel McCarr, the All Star variation. At the printing plant, let's play tricks with this box. Uh, let's pull an auto out of here or something. Or uh, let's take a canvas. Let's pull a mascot canvas because I love those mascot canvases. Aiden Hill, Dougie Hamilton, all-star variation, Nick Holden, and okay, just a standard. Oh, it's canvas black, I think, though, right, of Jason Spezza? So there we go, Jason Spezza. Spezza. And then we had, oh, I already saw those guys. Brennan Dillon, Matthew Joseph, Mark Giordano. Of course, an Argo game, great, not there anymore. And Derek Bassard, also not there anymore. I so keep the hints coming, although uh, yeah, at some point I will, we'll see Rupe's, Rupe's face show up here, for sure. We always get us some nice Rupe. All right, Mason Appleton, Corey Perry, Nate Schmidt, Cody Cece, and all right, first young gun, Artemi Kinezev. Kinezi, Kine Artemi, Artemi Kinezev? I'm not sure if you pronounce the K or not, but Artemi Kinezev or Niazev? So there's a, you know, that's... That's a stretching it pretty thin there. Prospect pool, I'm sure that's a two dollar card. Five goals and 13, 14 games played in Shakutami. So that's 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 a depth young gun right there. If I've ever heard of one. And then you got Miko Ranton, All Star variation, Colin Blackwell, and Alex Nijelkovic. Getting lucky on my series one two extended. I had a that last series two box. If you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Uh, it was pretty freaking hot too. Pulled the side out of it. Can't complain. Luke Kunin, Marc Andre Fleury. You got a checklist of Seth Jones and. Marc-Andre Fleury on two teams he's no longer on anymore. And there we go, Mason Shaw. The third or fourth Mason Shaw I've pulled. Pretty pretty depth pick on a pretty stacked Young Guns. Uh, pretty stacked rookie Minnesota team. He's, he's pretty low on the rookie depth chart, so nothing too crazy there. Sam Carrick, Evgeny Dadanov, Ryan Donato, and Connor Garland on the struggling Canucks. Looks like another canvas of some kind here. So we got Derek Forbort, Tucker Poolman, Adam Boakvist, Cal Yarncroak, and a Chandler Stevenson. Regular old canvas there. Uh, Jacob Middleton, Craig Anderson having a great season this year, and uh, Jonathan Huberto variation. All right, Brock McGinn, Sam Lafferty, Mark Pissick, and UD canvas of Zach Hyman. That's a cool one. Awesome. Love me some Hyman. Mike Hoffman, Teddy Bluger, Ethan Bear, who I think is about to go on waivers. I can't really figure out what to do with him. Out in Carolina. Do bad I like Bearsy. Hope he finds a place to play. He's got a lot of heart. Connor McMichael, second year, I think, right? Second year or third year. Second year, Connor McMichael, Jared McCann, Austin Matthews. We've got our first retro of SPX retro of Andre Vasilevsky, Jim Alexiak, Garner Hathaway, Carson Susi, and Jake Bean. I get the feeling, I'm starting to get the feeling this is just like a super super top loaded box other than some young guns here I don't think we'll hit anything else crazy I just can't see it Nick Dowd James Reimer 
Nathan Sebastian, Logan O'Connor, Victor Hedman, Noah Dobson, Sonny Milano, and Peyton Krebs. So let's do a French variation in there. Yes, French variation. Okay. It's a French variation of Victor Hedman with his all-star photo. Twelve so saison. So French variation there. Yeah. French variation. Well, let's put the French variation over there. French variations of the regular cards are worth much. French variations of the young guns are cool, but there's our boy. McJesus in his all-star variation, Matt Roy, Yakov Tiernan, uh, Austin Matthews retro, 506 retro, right? Philip Grubauer, and Nate Thompson, and Nick Ritchie, and Yvonne Bouchard. I do know how to swear in French, though. So. All right, Linus, Allmark, Nick Benino, Yaroslav Halak, right, Yaroslav Halak, yeah, Vince Dunn, and Alex Turcotte, Young Guns retro. Young Guns Retro of Alex Turcotte. I like the Retro Young Guns. I know that they don't have the same uh, the same resale value as the regular ones do, but I think they're still cool. We'll put you on top of that there. And we got Yuho, uh, Yuho Lamiko, Eric Halla, and a checklist of Parisi and retired as uh, Boston Bruin Char. The top was crazy. After that was nothing special, so let's see if the two stacks at the back are it's bonkers. Betting man, they're not. Samuel Motembo, Motembo, how the heck do you say that again, my French? Will Butcher, Dryden Hunt, Oliver Ekman Larson, and a young gun of Scott Perinovich. Perinovich? 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 However you say that. There we go. So again, the classic extended young guns. Not the highest prospect, but yeah, young guns are always cool. Take any young gun. Luke Landenning, Brad Richardson, and Martin Jones. So that's what our third, third one, right? Yeah, because I think they consider the, um, I think they consider the retro ones to still be a young guns hit. So, all right, Scott Wedgwood, Darren Helm, Dmitry Kulikov, and Gold Holographics of Spencer Knight. Well, can't complain about that one. Um, he's one of the better, one of the better rookies of la last year's crop. So, it's a gold holographics instead of a silver. So, like, give it some more value. So that's cool. So there for now. Warren Fogel, Darcy Kemper, Logan Stanley, and Ryan Suter. And I have a cat about to attack the hockey cards here. Hopefully he doesn't. I pulled his clear-cut rookie out of a... Uh, his clear-cut retro rookie out of an artifact. It's my best artifacts hit this year. The cat is not making this easy. All right. Sammy Blaze, Ryan Dezingle, Sam Reinhardt, Ian Cole, and our first... Uh, all right. Well, rookie... Lucas Raymond, Quad Diamond... These cards are cool. They're not worth a ton resale value-wise, but they're still cool. And uh, he's not having a great start to this season. So his stock has fallen a little bit, but still a very nice card. Yeah, yeah let's put the young guns over here. Let's stick him on top of the black canvas there. Behind that was Iberly, Brett Howden, and Sven Berchi. Again, I said it in the intro, but I'll say it again that... Uh, what extended lacks in Young Guns content, it makes up for in cool inserts. So, Jaden Schwartz, Peter Mrazek, Alexander Carrier, Laurent Brissois, and Young Guns here of Riley Tufty. So, there we go. Another Young Gun. Nothing special, but a Young Gun nonetheless. Adam Larson, Marc Andre Fleury, and Tony D'Angelo. Getting our Young Guns out of the way pretty quick here. Should have a couple left, but hopefully still pull a Jarvis or a uh, one of those other guys I mentioned. Matthias Janmark, Marcus Johansson, Nick Letty, and Cole Perfetti. So another rookie there. Just a silver holographics. Cole Perfetti. He's also had a good start to the year on Winnipeg. Gustav Forsling, Louis Erickson, Marco Goodrow, and Arthur Kaliev. All right, Evgeny Svechnikov, Curtis McDermott, Duncan retired Keith, Cam Atkinson, and another rookie gems. This is a single one of William Eklund. Put a lot of William Eklund. Put a lot of William Eklund out there in San Jose, Jake McCabe, Nick Felino, and Jason Dickinson. All right, Tyler Pitlick, Michael Raffle, Ryan Reeves, and Canvas Chris Kreider. Patrick Nemeth, Robert Haig, John Merrill, and Trevor Lewis. Dirk Stepan, Alexander Wenberg, Zach Hyman, and huh, okay, well. Now I know the other one. now I know for sure that the other one is a black canvas, because there's your 
There's your regular canvas of Jason Spezza. Spezza. So then we got David Savard, Andre Case, Hayden Fleury, one of the inaugural game cards, and Dougie Hammertown. Alex Powerplay Specialist Chiasson, Ryan Ellis, Riley Sheehan, Vinny Hinestroza, and Young Guns of Hugo Anfelt. What to do about poor old Hugo there? There's a Simpsons reference if you don't get that. Hugo Anfelt. Yeah, there's another depth guy. I have no idea. Swedish guy. But he didn't have great numbers in Sweden. Five wins, 16 losses. losses. Either his two, HL, two SHL seasons, he's 13 and 21. So not exactly stirring numbers there, but there we go. Jumbo Joe, Brad. Frick off Brad, right? And Ryan Murray. All right, Danton Heinen, Andreas Johansson, Victor Arvidsson, Pierre Edward Belmar, 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 and Young Guns of Arvid Soderblom. There's a better Soderblom in the uh, for Detroit right now that I think uh, I don't think he has a Young Gun yet. So here's this Soderblom. So there's a Young Gun that'll probably be our last Young Gun. Pavel Buknevich, Andrew Ladd, and Mike Matheson. If you don't hit the big guys, there. They're stretched pretty thin. That's what happens when Upper Deck has to come up with mass numbers of young guns. Kind of waters down the product a little bit. Greg, Greg Patter, Greg Patterin, Patterin, Jimmy Vasey, Frederick Anderson, uh, John Carlson Retro, Morgan Geeky, Yanni Gord, Nolan Patrick, and Tage Thompson. All right, final pack here of this incredibly front-loaded box. Last half of the box has definitely been nothing special compared to that first, the first couple packs. Which is exactly how I figured it would be. All right, let's see if we can finish strong. Frederick Goudreau, Alex Tuck, Brian Elliott, uh, Kel McCarr Retro, Tyler Bozak, Jeremy Lazan, Mitchie Mitchie Marner, Variation, and Alex Goligoski. This was, I suspected, uh, back half of the box was nothing too crazy. Uh, I got a few retros in there, a couple boring canvases. Yeah, the front front half was loaded. Or I guess the front, front like, tenth of the box? Crazy. Uh, so a couple retros, a couple canvases... Holographics, one French variation there, Victor Hedman. I mean, that's nice, at least that's a decent quality of a guy on a retro there. Lots of canvases. I got a couple of rookie gems in here. Eklund, who I can't seem to stop pulling. Uh, Raymond's doing all right this year. He's not doing so great. And a cool black canvas of Jason Spezza there. Uh, the regular canvas of him. Definitely nothing to write home about on the uh, Young Guns. A couple goalies I've never even heard of. Tough D I've seen pulled before. Turcotte Retro. Aronovich, Mason Shaw, who I've pulled so many times, and uh, Knizhev, Knizhev, however the hell you say it, I still can't say it, Knizhev. So nothing crazy. So yeah, I mean the big, uh, the big story in this box were these guys, which uh, I mean aside from Spencer Knight, were pulled three card, three packs in a row, which is pretty crazy. Uh, first time I've seen a, first time I've seen a day with the cup card, and first time I've seen a, uh, one of those UD three die cuts. It's pretty crazy looking card. So, and of course, I mean, the, in, the aspects infinites are not super rare, but hitting Neon Leon, can't complain about that as an Oiler fan. You just gotta love it. So, there we go. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm hoping that's the last. Eh, probably will be. At 99 bucks, trying to help them out at the card shop getting those clear cuts, I'll probably do at least one more box of extended. We'll see. But at 99 bucks, it's not a bad. I mean, 99 bucks to pull cards like this, kind of. I don't know what the see what the values are on this stuff, but uh, it seems like a good deal to me. So if you guys uh, enjoyed that and want to see more stuff like this, let me know in the comments. If you're sick of uh, series one, two, three, if you're sick of sick of extended, don't want to see it anymore. Uh, let me know in the comments. And uh, otherwise, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, hit subscribe, bell icon, all that stuff. You know what to do, and uh, get access to some more of content. Uh, like I said, that uh, 2014 CFL is coming. Football may not be your thing, but if it is your thing, that's coming down the pipeline in a few days, hopefully. Should be a fun one. Hopefully pull a Flutie Auto. And uh, yeah, so with that, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.